What's up guys? Welcome back to Black Birdie Golf. I'm Kev One. For those of you who haven't tuned into my my YouTube channel, thank you. Um, please subscribe, like, and share. Tell all your friends and family. And um, today I'm heading down to Richmond. I'm with my two little men. Um, we're heading down to Drive Shack, which is, um, I thought, Top Golf's like probably number one competitor or competition. And um, I did some research, and Top Golf has around 70 locations all over the world. I didn't even realize that they were created in 2000 in London, England, and um, they were they were acquired by Callaway Golf um, a couple of years ago. So their headquarters now is in Dallas, Texas. And I think it's more of a an American brand slash company. But we're going to Drive Shack to check out the difference and to see if this company is actually going to, you know, grow and and become, you know, just as big as Top Golf because Top Golf is in numerous countries. Um, I just read that they are about to start building some in Australia. They're in Germany, of course, London. They're all over the place, basically. So, so yeah, guys, I'm gonna go over uh, just the look of Drive Shack. How's the food taste? Because of course we're gonna have lunch there. They look pretty cool from the from the pictures. You book through their website, whether it's a uh, one person or I think up to four. Uh, that's a big difference in regards to Top Golf because I think you need eight people in your group to book like an, like an area, like maybe two stalls or something like that. But anyway, um, I'll let you know how it is, guys. Peace. the games you can play. Which one do you want to do? I said Monster Hunt. Monster Hunt. Okay. Is that which kind of golf I'm going to do? Okay. Mm. Let's just swipe up. Start playing. Oh, look! Oh! And you just dropped it. Mason, you just brought a monster. 25 points. Now keep going. So that's what the screen is. It's hitting monsters. It's on that other yellow spot. Right next to the one that you just hit. Okay. Alright guys, so we finished you know the whole experience at Drive Shack and um, 
my personal feeling is that it was it was good. The food was pretty good. You know, typical, you know, bar food. I didn't have anything, you know, any alcohol because I'm driving and stuff and I have my boys with me. But, you know, I had to so I had a, actually I had an Arnold Palmer and um, they had soda and um, it was pretty good. So what, yeah. what do you guys think about the overall experience? Was, I, I liked it. I liked it too. I, yeah. I hit a One monster. The, you hit a monster? Okay. Mm -hmm. So we basically, they had like themes. So here, let me turn the AC up a little bit. So they had like a driving park, they had, um, I mean, excuse me, they had a driving range. They also had a couple of golf courses. One of them was, uh, what was it? I think it was St. Andrews in Scotland. Um, but it was all visual, you know, and then you hit out onto the, uh, to the range. So Grayson, you go, tell me, tell, tell the viewers what you thought about so Drive Shack. So there was like this screen that you see, um, and then you pick which game you can play, and then I picked um, Monster Hunt. It was so cool. I was like, um, I hit a monster, and then it exploded, and then I got points. Awesome. Um, I, I, I was in second place. My brother here, he was in third place, and then Daddy was in... First, first place. place. First place. But the first, the first game we played, Junior, Junior, yeah, he had like six hundred points, which was he actually monster mashed it, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Nice. So, Junior, tell tell the viewers your experience. What do you think of Dry so, Shack? Um, like the first one, like Hot Shot and um, like a regular course. Th those two were boring because they didn't even give you any points. But on Monster Hunt, I gained points, but I didn't really. But I'm um, on the last game. I didn't gain any points. Can I tell them? So? I I got yeah. I got only like 104 points, and and my dad got like 400 and like 52 points, and my brother got 222 points. So what you what do you think about the overall experience? Did you like the chicken fingers? Yeah, yeah I like the chicken fingers. The they're chicken good. Fingers good. They're okay. good. And, and the staff was very friendly. Yeah. It was clean. Um, fairly new. I don't know when they built it, but it seemed pr fairly new. Maybe Daddy? a couple years. Yeah. Um, so I I went I went in first place a lot of times. But I, you didn't, I didn't win. But, but you I, didn't win. Though. I didn't, didn't win, win yeah. but I went in first place. Okay. I got um like ju um, so junior. You, oh, okay. All right. So junior. would you would you recommend? other parents to take their kids to drive shack and, yes. and is it good for teenagers also yes and it's good for adults it's fun yes okay. because one for adults is a card game where you could sh um shoot the cards and then they'll get up and then after mm -hmm. then there's a dartboard and stuff yeah so yeah there's different games that you guys can play and um you know if you're in the richmond area there there's only four drive shacks in the country so they have one in obviously Richmond, Raleigh, um, Orlando, and West Palm Beach. So there's only four. Um, I haven't looked up anything in regards to them building anything new, but you know if you're in the Richmond area, you're driving through, you want to check it out. You know it's similar to Top Golf. I think there is a Top Golf in Richmond as well, but Drive Shack is not as popular. But I think quality, quality facility. All right, guys. Thanks again for tuning in. Good looking out to Foot Joy. All right. Please um, like, subscribe, and share. And hit them straight. Peace. 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 <laughs> Bye.